Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we're going to start this chapter of Wahdat al-Thaniya. Wahda means a unit, Thaniya means second. Here, al-Usra. Al-Usra means <clears throat> family. There are may, uh, some more words used in Arabic for al-Usra. There are um, ahl or al-Aila. <clears throat> today we're learning about this uh, family. Okay, let's start quickly. Al-Hirwar al-Awwal, you all already know about this. Okay, first exercise. Al-Aruz, an unzer was tamir wa'id. See, hear, and repeat. Here are two participants today, Ali and Armar. <clears throat> Ali said, Assalamu alaikum, Armar said, Wa alaikum assalam. Now here, um, you already know that alaikum, I already, assalam means peace. And alaykum, they're attached pronoun here. Kum, ala, upon, on, kum, you all. Uh, it's usually used when you are not going to specify the gender. For example, if I have to say it to, uh, to specify it uh, to a girl, then I'm saying salam to the girl, assalamu alaykum. Assalam, when if I'm uh, going to specify to say to a boy, I will say assalamu alaykum. But here, when we say salam, it's for everyone in a general perception to you all. Um, we say salam alaykum. There is an attached pronoun. Remember that alaykum to ala means on, upon, and kum, you all. Alay, uh, here, if you say alayhi upon him, alayka on you. So this is how you can change it according uh, to Arabic. They're different for every gender and situation. But in general, we say alaykum. Just like uh, when you say thanks to uh, someone in Arabic, jazakumullah. I usually say jazakumullah because it's to specify general jazakumullah. But if you want to say to the boy specifically to a male, you have to say jazakallah. And if you are going to specifically say to the girl, say jazakallah. Okay. So here, uh, they greeted each other. And then Ali said, hadihi suratu usrati. Now here, hadi uh, this it's for it is used for feminine. Why? Because tamar buddha is here with hada. Okay, tamar buddha uh, shows it's feminine. Why it's feminine? Because picture is a feminine, not the masculine. Usrati here is the ya mutakallim, the last ya here. Okay, here the usrati. Uh, earlier you saw the usratu. But here, ya is added because this is the ya mutakallam. The ya mutakallam means that shows the possession. Okay, mine, my. So usra, family, ya is added. Usrati means my family. Hadihi, this is surah, picture of my family. Armar said, okay, hadihi suratu usrati, this is picture of my family. Armar, mashallah. Now, ma means ma, what? Sha uh, wishes Allah. Allah. So whatever Allah wills or whatever Allah wish to. Uh, now here, sha'a is word. No, sorry, a verb. Okay, na, what? Sha'a, he wishes. Who wishes? Allah here. Okay, so remember this sha'a, he, he wishes is a verb. Now, another thing I'll tell you here. Now you'll say here comes the ma, but um, man is a word who when you use okay let me tell you the difference between them when we say um man who it's used for an arc okay uh let's leave it right now there will be so much it becomes a little complicated for you but focus on the exercise i will tell you that in a separate video i'll make about these um things about man and ma and all this stuff i'll explain that in detail in that video so it, it may this video may not become the gram, grammar video okay so just right now you will focus on the communication okay so he has it man hada here okay mashallah man hada he is pointing out uh to the man here okay man hada man means who had this when you are pointing now you're asking man now here again okay i have i'll have to explain because you will get confused 
Who is this? Okay, sometimes have mahaza. Yeah, you have heard about that. Mahaza and manhaza. There are two different words used with hatha to point out and ask the question. They are differently used. Man is used for. Uh, I will explain it in detail. Okay, used for the archil, the intelligent one, intelligent being, which is rational. Uh, it's for humans, uh, for angels, for Allah, for jinn, or all the creatures like this. But when you use mahaza, when you're pointing out, you can uh, point out to we're not in uh, intelligent or irrational creature like animals and plants and all the, 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 such kind of creatures. So if I'm pointing out to the tree, I will say mahaga. But if I'm pointing out a person, I will say manhaga. If I'm pointing out to an animal, I will say mahaga. And if I'm pointing out um, to any rational creature, I will say manhaga. So here he's pointing out to the human. So he will ask manhaga, who is this? Hada. Hada again is used for the masculine. If it's a feminine, we have to add in here ta marbuta. Okay. Alito hada this walidi. Now here walid is the word. Uh, ignore this yeah for a while. Walid. Walid is a word used for father because you already know Urdu language, so you know what is walid. That will be easy. Walid. Now you we have added yama takalim here again. The Usrati had the yama takalim. The same yama takalim added here with walid. Walidi. My father. Adnan is the name. Hada walidi Adnan. This is my father, Adnan. Wa. Wa means and. Okay, this whole wa means and. Hua. He. Now here it's again. Hua means he. If it's a girl, we'll use hia. Well, you will learn the later sentences. Wa and hua he muhandis. Muhandis mean engineer. Okay. So Ali said, Hada Walidi Adnan wa huwa muhandis. This is my father Adnan and he's an engineer. Umar said, Waman hadi he. Now here he, he didn't say man hada. Wa and he added wa because he has already asked the question about a person. Man hada now he said, and who is this? Hadi he came, that means he is pointing out to the female. Then who is this? Hadi <clears throat> he again, this female, Walid T. Now here, walida is the word used for mother. So when walida, okay, walid is for father, walida is for mother, and you add ya, ya matakalim here, my mother, okay? Sa'ida is her name. Hadi walida ti Sa'ida, this is my mother Sa'ida, wahia. Now he, uh, here we use wahua for the male, and here wahia is for, for me, female, wa and hia. She is tabiba, doctor. Tabib is the word. If you remove this ta marbuta, tabib is the word doctor, male, we use for male, but if you add ta marbuta, that becomes a female. Arabic is so simple. Let's just add ta marbuta for the female. That's it. Okay. Well, tabiba, and she is doctor. Hadi he. Here, remember, this ta marbuta shows it's a female. Walida T, Walida, mother, Yama Matakalim added, my mother. Hadihi Walida T, Sa'ida Wahiya Tabiba. She is my mother, Sa'ida, and she is a doctor. The next question comes from our mother is, Woman Hada, and who is this? Now, here you know that Hada, he is pointing towards a male again. Here is a male. <clears throat> Hada akhi, akh, here, can you, you, you can see the word akh here. Akh means brother, in Arabic it's used for brother. Hada akhi, akhi, again, remember Yama Tekalim added to show the possession. Hada akhi, he's my bro, uh, this is my brother, Isa, name, okay? Hada, this is akhi, my brother, Isa, wahua, again, here, the male, wahua, not here. He's a male, so we'll use hua, and hua. He, Talib. Talib means student. Okay, if you want to make it a female student, you have to add the marbuta, it will become Taliba. Female student. Okay, so he is a student. This is my brother, Raisa, and he is a student. Next. 
Woman have he. So he's pointing out towards a female. Woman have Then who is she? Have he? She. Uh, this is Ukhti. Ukht. Ukht means sister. And Ukhti means my sister. Now here you already know. Yamatakalin. Arbla. Her name is Arbla. Okay. Wahia. And she is again Wahia. Not Hua. Hua is for male. Hia is for female. Wa and Hia. She is Mu'allama. Mu'allim is, mu'allim is a teacher. Okay. And Mu'allima is a female teacher. Mu'allim is used for male and Mu'allima. Tamar Buddha added makes it female. Hadihi ukhti, this is my sister, Abla Wahia, Mu'allima, and she's the teacher. Wahada Jaddi. Now he already told because he knows that he's going to ask about the grandmother and father, the other picture as well. So he has added Wahada, and this is Jaddi. Jad. Jad means grandfather, and uh, Jadda means grandmother. Yes, there is a city of Saudi Arabia named uh, after the grandmother, Jadda. Okay, it means grandmother. Wahada. Uh, uh, Jaddi, this is my ya yeah, again with Jad added for possession. Okay, or Jaddi, my grandfather, Wahadi Jaddadi, and this is my grandmother. Okay, our mother said, MashaAllah, again, MashaAllah, I've already told you about whatever Allah wished him or he wished him. Okay, uh, next. <clears throat> You know about it all? No. And remember that Hua is for he, he is for she, Hada. This is used for masculine and Hadihi. This means it's for uh, feminine. Remember that, okay? Here, Surah means, Surah means picture. Now, how you can say it's a masculine or a feminine? Because there's a term or Buddha. Surah. Picture. And, and remember, this is Sword. Sod. Sod uh, comes, it's, if it's a surah with sod, that means a picture. If it's with seen, that's a surah of Quran. Okay? Or surah means family. Jad, grandfather, jadda, grandmother, muallima, teacher, female teacher, muallim, male teacher, talib, student, talib, talib, female student. Okay? Walid, walida, mother, walid, father. Okay? Okay, now you have to mix and match. Uh, Jadda, Jadda, remember? Jadda, I just told you. You'll remember by the name of the city. <laughs> grandmother, grandmother. Okay, Jadda, grandfather. Asura, family. Where's the family? Here. And where's the wallet? Here. That will be right. easy for you, uh, people. Ma'allima, ma'allima, teacher. Here, sura. Where's the sura? Some things are going to be very easy because you're going to relate surah, surah, uh, surah means picture and scene surah, means surah of Quran. Walida, you know about walida and walida because it's in Urdu as well, the same. Walid, you already you know about it, so in Urdu very similar. So this is going to be very easy for you. Now remember, ah, brother, ya ad, my, akhi, my brother. Ukh means sister, ya ad, ukhti, my sister. Jad, jad, grandfather, jaddi, my grandfather. Jadda, grandmother, jadda. And Jadati, my grandmother. And now remember, Mu'allima uh, is a word for teacher, and there's a, a Mudarrisa. Mudarris and Mu'allim, as both are for the teacher. Okay, uh, next is uh, here. Let's quickly go to this one. Umar, Hal Hadihi Shajara? Al Hibaru Thani, we are okay. Hal, Hal means is this. Hadihi, this again, remember, this is not Hada, this is Hadi, that means female, Shajara. Shajara is a feminine. Uh, shajara means tree. Here you can see Tabar Buddha. So this is a feminine. So Hal Hadihi Shajara, is this a tree? Earth mountain, Naram, Naram, yes, Naram, yes. Hadihi, this is Usra, again, Usra, family, or Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is family of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So let's learn about his family, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Umar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uthman said, Hada waliduhu, Abdullah. Now here it said, uh, waliduhu. Okay, now I missed one thing. Here Usratu came, Usratu Rasul. Here you can say Hamza Vasul came. Here's Alif Lam, Rasul. 
No, it, this is this word is here, Osuatu, is um it shows the belonging. Okay, this word shows the belonging to which the second word. This is called madaf and this is called madaf ilay. Madaf is which shows belonging and madaf ilay to which it belongs to. That's why it's here to. It's uh, with boma. Okay. Um, you will learn it about later when, when I teach grammar. Right now, it's not about the grammar. So let's move on. Now here, Sali means blessings. So uh, Allah, uh, Allah upon, uh, Wasalim means peace, peace and blessings upon him. Omar repeated that peace and blessings upon him. Here, Hada, this Waliduhu. Walid means, again, you know, the father, Walidu, who, his, now here the who represent his, okay, Walidu, who, this who, uh, how with Doma represents his, means his, okay, Abdullah, his father name, Abdullah, Wahadi, he, Walidatu, who, now here again came, uh, Wahadi, he, you know, this is used for feminine, Walidatu, who, now, because it's Walida um, to who, who represent, is representing, it belongs to the male person, his mother. So we are using this mascul uh, masculine here, okay? So this is his mother, Walida to who. This, that Tamar Buddha has converted into Ta here, Walida to who, his mother, Amina. Wahada Jaddu who, and Hada this Jad, you know Jad means? Uh, grandmother, oh sorry, grandfather. <clears throat> Jad means grandfather, and Jadda means uh, grandmother. Now this is not Jadda. This is this ha represents his possession. Okay, Jaddu who his grandfather Abdul Muttalib, and this is his grandfather Abdul Muttalib. Wahada and this Armuhu. Uh, Arm means aunt. Okay, now here uh, in Arabic, their aunts are different. Arm means. Uh, Paternal aunt means, uh, and although you can say the popo, we call her popo, masi, whatever you call her. It's armu, paternal aunt, okay? The sister of your father, armu, his paternal, armu, sorry, paternal uncle, okay? Paternal uncle, really sorry. A paternal uncle means um, brother of your father. So wahada amuhu is paternal uncle al Abbas. In Arabic, uh, I was telling it's different. Paternal and maternal uncle and aunts are different. There are different words are used for them. I will tell you in a while. Okay, here wahada am am means it's am word am means paternal uncle. No, who means who his his paternal uncle is Abbas. This is paternal uncle, Abbas. Hamza. Okay, and here his paternal uncle, Hamza. Uh, here is Abbas and Hamza, two paternal uncles. And Wahada Amuhu, Abu Talib. And another paternal uncle is Abu Talib. Okay, arm, 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 three arms here. And who represent his? His arm, his paternal uncle, Al Abbas, Hamza, and Abu Talib, or three. Paternal uncle means chacha. Okay. Um, well, in Arabic, there's no taya or chacha differentiated. Arm is used for all the brothers of the father. Okay. And uh, arm madu. Tamar buta is added with arm. Arm mean arm. If you add tamar buta, arm, that will make, uh, make paternal aunt. That means purple. But if you want to you know, call maternal uncle your mamu, which is khal. Okay. Maternal uncle is khal in Arabic. And khala which is same in Urdu, khala in Arabic. And, and remember, there is no word for khalu, okay? You know, just like in Urdu, we say khalu, and we usually use mamu for khalu. There is no Arabic for khalu, specifically word. It's the husband of khala. Okay, this is, this is how, okay, well, we'll talk about later. Right now, next is wa armu hamza. Wa hadha armu abu talib. And his uh, uncle Abu Talib here, Armu Abbas Hamza Abu Talib, and he, now fourth one is Amma to who? Now here Amma means uh, paternal aunt Sophia. Uh, she's a very famous in history of Islam. 
you already uh, know about her, mashallah. Okay, well, hadi he here. It's used for the feminine, not hada hada. Hadi he, tamar buddha, armatuhu. Here, tamar buddha is converted into ta. Okay, armatuhu, hadi he. This is this feminine female. Armatuhu, his paternal aunt means popo, Safia. Okay, wahada, and this again, the boy. Ahada bnuhu, abnuhu. Ibn, Ibn is son. Okay, Ibn. Now here, who again it represent his his son Al Qasim. Wa hada Ibn who Abdullah. Again, Ibn who his uh, son Abdullah. Ibn who his son Ibrahim. He had three son. Okay, wa hada this 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 again the same repeating. Wa hada Ibn who Abdullah. Wa hada Ibn who Al Qasim. Wa hada Ibn who Ibrahim. His son, his son Ibn son who his Qasim Abdullah and Ibrahim. And next is. Fatima again. Oh, yeah, it's used at Tamar Buddha here. Okay. Bint. Bint. Banunda. Here is the base. Bint means daughter who his. Bint daughter who his. His daughter Fatima. Bintu who his daughter. Wahadi. And this is Bintu who his daughter. Wahadi. Bintu who his daughter. Ruqayya. Fatima. Ruqayya. Wahadihi and this, you remember this has he used for female. Then to who? His daughter, Zainub. And Wahadihi bin to who? Uh, um, 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 okay. Now, here, uh, when it's attached with it, Hadi, uh, Wayb, Ibn to who? You can say Ibn to who, or just bin. Both are used for female, uh, means daughter. Um, Kulthum is the name, okay? It's not just um mother Kuzum, it's uh, her name. In Arabic, you know, it's, uh, there's some name are like uh, Kunya. So um Kalthum, uh, his daughter. Fatima Rukaya, then um Kalthum. Okay. Uh, and remember, uh, okay, I'll tell you about the Kunya as well. Let's do this. Uh, this is another exercise here. Shajara means Tree, we learn about the family tree of Prophet Muhammad here. Nan, Ram, Ramna. You know, Ram, what is Ram? Remember, Ram means uh, the paternal uncle, Ramna, paternal aunt, Ibn, son, Ibna, daughter. It's just a Ram, Ramna. Again, you have to match the pictures. You can do it by yourself. Let me do it one, for one minute for you. Uh, Ram. Paternal uncle, uncle, it's uncle, Amma, auntie. Shajara, here, the tree, surah, the picture. Ibn, the son, Ibn, the daughter, Tabiba, is a doctor. Where's the doctor? It's with a stethoscope. Yeah, here. Ma'allima, there's a teacher with a book here. Ma'allima. Okay, let's go to the next. And, okay, we'll, we'll do this, the exercise later. I, I think it's uh, done for today. Just revise these exercises. Uh, Communicate with each other, with your partner. We'll meet again, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.